Well, good morning, friends, and all of you fellow early birds. As you can see, the sun is just starting to come up on the horizon, and I'm heading from Palm Springs, California, to Pahrump, Nevada. Do you have any idea whose grave I'm planning to visit today? As far as I know, there's only one internationally famous person buried in Pahrump, Nevada, and that's who I'm hoping to find today. So I've been driving now for a couple of hours or so, and I've reached the city of Baker, California. This happens to be the turnoff where you head to Death Valley, which is also the same direction as Pahrump, Nevada. These peace-loving aliens caught my attention, and apparently they love fresh jerky. I've never been here before. I've never seen this UFO hotel, and it just seems perfect because the person that I'm planning to visit today was all about aliens and ghosts and the paranormal. So it looks like I'm on the right road. Have any of you been here before? Have any of you tried the alien fresh jerky or stayed in the UFO hotel? It looks really cool. This is one of those personal visions and roadside attractions that make taking road trips so much fun. It's about 80 miles from Baker to Pahrump on this two-lane highway. It takes about an hour and a half or so. It's a beautiful day. I love this kind of desert scenery. And even though I'm heading in the direction of Death Valley, I feel like I'm in heaven. Especially since the first thing I see once I arrive in Pahrump is this giant ice cream cone. I'm here at the uh, cemetery in Pahrump, Nevada. And I've been here about an hour or so, and the lawnmower that you hear behind me has been mowing the lawn ever since I got here. There's also a guy with a weed whacker, so I definitely chose the wrong day to arrive here at the, uh, the cemetery where Art Bell is buried. I've been waiting for months now. He died earlier in the year. I've been waiting for months until his headstone was uh, placed before I came up here to Nevada. But unfortunately, it looks like I'm about a week or so too early. I, I've searched everywhere in the cemetery. I couldn't find the little green plaque that I saw on the uh, Find a Grave Memorial. So I think that has been removed. But I did find his headstone. It hasn't been placed yet but it looks like it's uh, back in an area where they're just getting ready to do that probably in the next couple of days. So I got a photo of it, so I'll show it to you. If you're not familiar with Art Bell, he was probably one of the most famous radio hosts in the country. He had a syndicated radio show that was syndicated all over the US and Canada. And it was about, it focused on the paranormal. It was a very popular show that he did here in Pahrump, Nevada. Now Pahrump is about, oh, I guess it's about an hour and a half northwest of Las Vegas. It's kind of out in the middle of the nowhere. I was expecting it to be much smaller and just a tiny little uh, dot on the map, but it actually is very pretty, very nice, much newer than I expected. A lot of uh, new buildings and constructions. The roads are all being redone. I mean, it's really a nice place. I would uh, highly recommend coming to uh, to stay. If I had known, I might have uh, decided to stay here instead of Las Vegas. So it looks like now that I'm ready to leave, they're, they've just finished uh, mowing the lawn. So isn't that how it always goes? Well, my trip to the uh, cemetery today wasn't completely successful. I wasn't able to see Art Bell's gravesite in its uh, final location, but I did find the gravesite. It hasn't been uh, placed yet. The, it's here in the cemetery, just waiting to be installed in his, uh, in his plot. So I'm not sure where that will be exactly, but I can tell you it's a very tiny cemetery. In fact, let me just pan around. Maybe you can see behind me. So once his headstone is up, even though there are quite a few headstones, it's such a tiny cemetery, you'll easily be able to find it. So for those of you who want to see a little bit more of the uh, cemetery, here's the front 
of the Pahrump family mortuary. And you can see the name of the cemetery is Grandview Cemetery. I'll pan around so you can see a little bit more of where it's located. I'll also put the address down below this video in case you plan to visit yourself. It reminds me of a lot of other cemeteries I've seen in small towns, out in desert areas or rural areas. But it does have a lot more grass than you find in most of the desert cemeteries. And here's another look at Art Bell's headstone. So if you're a fan of Art Bell and you enjoyed coming along with me on this cemetery trip today, please uh, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, leave a comment, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. So as always, thanks for joining me today, and I hope you'll join me on my next trip to the graveyard.